That's the first time I can recall ever having that injury in Football Manager. Luckily, it wasn't major. Roll the intro and we'll talk about it. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is episode 36 with De Groff Shop in the Netherlands, the Arita VC, where we have gained promotion a couple of seasons ago. And uh, please consider giving a like if you like what you see me doing here. And if you want to support the channel, that's my way of asking you to support. And uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date on daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday here on my channel, 8 a.m. Central Time in the United States, 2 p.m. in London, for those of you across the pond. Well, as good a run of form as we were in, that's all forgotten about. We had a 3-0 loss to PSV and looked horrible doing it, and a 1-1 draw with Breda. We actually led on a Chris Natumba goal in the 39th minute and gave up a stoppage time goal to lose two points in this one. Ah, that was brutal. We're playing Ajax today and FC20. We'll be back with Ajax highlights and then the FC20 match in just a second. This one was a defensive slugfest. Only 15 shots between the two clubs. We get off. Natumba finds a deft finish into the near post. Benali must have been screened on that one. Gave us a 1-0 lead. Moments later, well, in the 52nd minute, they get an entry pass to Van Merkenstein, who beats Delcra. Yeah, should have blocked that pass, to be fair. And then a block by our defender bounces right to DeGroote in the 82nd minute. He finds the near post, and that sends us to a 2-1 defeat. We lose ground in our race to qualify. This guy is just all over our matches looking at Vicario. He's valued at 4.9. I'm just going to slap a $60 million price tag on him. Just, just, you know, just to make sure. By the way, 26 years old, leading scorer, two years left on his deal. Do we offer him a new contract? If we're going to do it for anybody, it would probably be him, right? 35 and a half. Can I get you down to 45 goals? I don't mind those. And I want to get rid of that. Well, that sucks. I really don't want that. If I walk away now, well, that that's not a very big release clause. I mean, that's that's not even his value, is it? 4.7? No, that's too enticing. I'm going to back out. I'm not in. Mm, I'm going to walk away. I'll, I'll, I'll renegotiate with him later. I, I, that's That was a horrible clause. Anyway, we are down to seventh in the table. I have uh, two weeks that I have to click through. So uh, let me do that and spare you the misery. And we'll be back for the match in just a second. All right, we're on game day. We're on match day. I kind of wanted to show this to you. This is what I've been seeing in a lot of my scouting. So, I mean, you know, I see this 75 rating. That tells me that this player should be pretty good in the scheme of things for our club, right? He's affordable, so I should be interested in him. But when I look at him, he's only going to be the fifth best, but he does have five-star potential. He's Dutch, but you can see out on that wing, Laval, Resnick. Now, Laval's more of a central midfielder. Resnick's playing out there, five-star. Tielemans is out there, four-and-a-half-star. And they're both better than him currently. Now, if I got him, I, I could get rid of Shedahull. I could really afford to get rid of DeVries, probably. 
And if we look at him at striker, Bakario, Natumba, Resnick, Olivier's not really a striker. So DeVries is my number four striker. Vogel's right in that mix, but he doesn't have good finishing. So, yeah, I, I just don't know. I mean, this guy would actually be probably an upgrade on DeVries and Vogel. I mean, I like him. He looks good, but I don't know. I'm going to re-scout him, I think. I'm going to re-scout him as striker. But that's kind of what I'm seeing. And, you know, and then the guys that are going to be really good where they would be starter quality for me, they want 3.4 to 7 and a quarter million, if that's even right, because there was a guy that it told me I should be able to get for a certain price, and I made a bid at the high end of the range, and they came back nine million dollars over that it was crazy i was like gee whiz so yeah anyway so i wanted to show that to you we are back for fc20 today i just realized because i'm recording this the same day i recorded last episode uh never did tell you guys why my eyes were hurting um power came on for just a few minutes in the middle of the night so that woke us up went back to sleep Woke up because I usually wake up in the middle of the night. So that was twice waking up during my sleep. And then uh, I had my alarm set and woke up at 6.30 uh, to go outside and get the generator, you know, started up again. And, you know, make sure the refrigerator and freezer were plugged in so we didn't lose our food. Uh, so I didn't sleep much last night. So my eyes are lack of sleep. Very, very tired. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to go with, you know what? I'm going to bring Jegu in on that side. We're going to bring Barisic in on this side. We're going to swap them over. They have the best crossing. Resnick. You know what? I'm going to dial these guys back to support. They'll still cut inside, and they can still attack. But I've got two attackers up top. And maybe that allows us to cut off some of those defensive passes. So Natumba, Vicario up top, Vogel, Resnick on the wings. Uh, Cervenka is a fitness issue, uh, mainly because he has not come back from injury completely yet. You know what? I'm going to put uh, Shed a hole out there today. Olivier, do I want him there? I don't think so. Let's go with Laval. There we go. Laval's lacking match sharpness. That's okay. Motivated. Nice. And we kick off our familiar blue and white stripe kits. Oh, there's a big through ball, but it's a little too far for Natumba. What? I always get nervous when my when the three boy orange cats start crying because they're the ones that have uh problems that cost me a lot of money. <laughs> so I had to check stop and check there. So if that looked like an odd cut, it's cuz it was. All right, shed a hole. There we go. Haven't seen him on the pitch in a while. Arco Young, big save by Delqua, tips it wide. Barisic is on it, clears it up. And, oh, ugly trip. That's got to be a card. Tomas Valenta picks up the yellow. Samir gets us started. And we go all the way back to Delqua. Poor, poor effort. Oh, there's a stab away. Nice. All right, that'll let us start to rebuild here. Maybe. Jegu gets it up to shed a hole. And he pick out a pass. He's got somebody on the wing. He clips it out to Resnick. Into Grutunk, who drives it into, I think that was Vicario's back. That probably left a mark. Probably has an imprint of the ball manufacturer. Let's encourage him. 
We've only had the one shot. They've had three, so not any better. Oh, what a stab by Delcra. Nice, nice job. Come on, fellas. Good outlet, Pat. You know what? Let's change some stuff up here. All right, we're going to turn off run at defense. We're going to turn that on. And I am going to dial up the counter press. We're going to get a little aggressive here and see if it helps us any. Because we've been playing well. Oh, there it is. Shed a hull. Oh, they just threaded that that cross through about three people. Shed a hall gets on the end of it. His second goal of the season. He has got to be ecstatic. I think in real life he would probably be coming back to the center line pointing his fingers at me like, this is why I should have been playing all year. We're up into fifth position. Flick on header. Resnick's out there. He's got some space. Van Grinkle is with him. Taken down in the box. Is it going to be a penalty? Referee's going over to check the little television. I'll try to remember to edit part of that out. We don't need to see him jogging. What's the call? And we do get a penalty. All right. And it's going to be Gerber, our center back. Does he have our best penalty taking? Really? Must be pretty good. That was a nice goal. Fifth goal of the season for Melvin Gerber. Now I got to look. I got to see what his penalty taking is. But that, that was, that was a class finish. All right, Gerber, penalty taking. He's got a 12. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. For a center back? That's pretty stellar. Have you guys ever seen... Oh, that was bad. Laval gets it picked away from him. And he skies that when we got lucky. No, it looks like a save by Delqua. Tipped it over, so they get the corner. And that one goes over, and we'll take the goal kick on that one. Let's demand a little more. Seven shots to five in favor of FC20. Jegu goes deep. Headed clear. Pick a pass. Pick a pass. No, not that pass. Boo. <laughs> Don't like that one. There's Gerber. He gets it over to his center back partner. That's a good pass upfield to Resnick. Finds Barisic on the overlap. Laid off to Grutunk, the midfielder. Another pass up into space. Laval, and that was on target, but that's tipped over, setting up a corner. I think this guy was right on target there, getting that on film. Jegu comes way forward. Oh, and that was brutal. I think he's going to get sent off. Nope, just a yellow. And I'm not real happy with him this match. He's playing a seven. But the game's telling me he's playing pretty well. Vicario finds Resnick. Resnick! Oh, that was on target. But it was pushed away and cleared. Still, 2-0 advantage. That Gerber penalty is looking big right now. Very big. No, we're not going to do that. Pleased with your performance. We'll do that. We'll give them a spot of praise to open things up here. They go deep on that pass, and it goes right to Delcra. Thrown out, and we start building from the back. A long throw by Jegu. Headed into the box and cleared away. They've got a counter opportunity here. 
Enough pressure to hold them up and give our defenders time to get back. All right. I'm trying to see who's over there. Oh, that was a lunging tackle. He's going to be sent off. That's a red. That is not good. Two-footed lunge. Um, I think the easiest thing to do here is going to be to drop the Tumba over to the wing. Keep Vicario there. Now, do I have a central mid that is better on defense? I don't think so. I think they're all... Olivier's not bad. Let's bring him on for Laval. And you know what? That's what we're going to do there. We're going to make him a ball-winning midfielder on defend. And he's our playmaker. We'll do that. And we're going to have to go back to balanced. Natumba's called for offsides. Headed out. The Tumba makes a run for it. They're on the attack. Oh, that's a lot of space. Come on, defense. Find a stop here. No, that was ugly. Ugly. Two to one. I think we're going to go back to cautious. And let's also, let's do this. We'll regroup, slow the pace down, do some time wasting, and play for set pieces. Uh, we're going to have to try to milk this for, for points, I'm afraid. Certainly would not do that had we been at full strength, but being down to 10 men... Don't really see that we've got a choice here. That was not a good ball by Olivier. He's such a good passer. Don't think Natumba's my best winger out there either. All right, lump it out. Good job. That's what you want to see. Lopesi. Is that John Toll? He hit his own man. Shedahull's got a counter. Vicario's there. Play it through to him, man. Well, I did tell him to waste time and play for set pieces. Natumba's there. Oh, and that was that was just weak sauce, man. Weak sauce. This is going to be a long, let's encourage them. It's going to be a long period here. Come on, fellas. All right, let's, uh, let's look at a sub here. We've only made one sub. So, Jegu's on a yellow. Let's bring Elena on for him. Actually, let's bring Barisic over. And then Banachek will bring him on. And we're gonna change these guys to yeah, we'll make those we'll make them fullbacks. And that's two. And then we'll save the other one for a time waster. A header, but nobody's up there with him. Too much space, man. Too much space. All right. I want to do something else here. Let's drop these guys back. And Natumba, we're going to bring Tealman's on for him. Uh, and there's going to be a penalty on Gratunk. No. I think there was a push there. That's going to be a weak foul, but... He didn't even go down. 
But there was a push. You saw him. You saw him jerk. And they do give the penalty. This is. Ugh. I have no faith in Delqua to stop a penalty. No faith. And we have let this get away with it. Oh, man. All right, you know what? I'm going to go back up to positive. We're going to keep everything else. I mean, if we can get a set piece, maybe we can steal something. There's a deflection. Another deflection. Oh, I should have let the keeper have that. Come on, boys. Two goals in the final 30 minutes. I really just hope we can hold on for the point now. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. There it is. Well, that's disappointing, but, you know, that's what happens when you get a red card sending off, right? Straight red as well. He's going to get fined two weeks pay for sure. And dismissal. Why is it not doing... I did find him. Uh, I hit confirm, did I not? That's twice it's done that. I had a young guy skip training, and it did the same thing. I picked the I picked the fine, and I thought I hit confirm. All right, well, we're currently in seventh. Only a point back. Only a point back, but we've really let that top four get away from us. So we are pushing for fifth. That's what we've got to hope for. That's what we've got to hope for. So who do we finish with here? AZ, ninth, but tough. They're having like the worst season they've had in 50 years. But Tessie will need to play them and do well. RKC, who just got a new coach, and then Heron Bean. Oh, my God. Um, let's play it by ear. What I'm going to do is we'll come back and probably do Vitesse highlights. And then we'll see how we're doing. And then we'll either do RKC highlights and play Heronveen, or we'll play RKC if qualification is on the line. And whether we make it or not, then we'll play Heronveen. So we may have a little bit longer episode next one since we've got some stuff riding on it. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell for your reminders for daily Football Manager content Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Central Time in the States, 2 p.m. in the afternoon in London. Take care, guys, and we'll see you in a couple of days for the next episode. Bye.